First of all, I want to thank y'all so much for being here. Um, my dad had such an impact on everyone, and, you know, it's, it's, I cannot explain the pain that I'm feeling right now, nor do I want you to feel the pain. My dad was an outstanding man, a loving husband to my mom, a great father to me. At my age, I never would have thought I would have had to write this for my father's funeral. I remember all the good memories, all the family trips, all the outings, etc. You know, my dad was one of a kind no one could ever compare. It's hard to believe that he was taken from us so quickly. He would always call me and ask me how classes were, what was going on sports-wise, anything you could think of he would talk about. But what I could see brought him the most joy was when I performed. No matter what I was in, a show, a recital, at church, or even just at home, I, he would always have a smile on his face and tell me how amazed and blessed he was to have a son like me. The laughs I would share with him and the laughs I would share with friends about him are so memorable, I, I couldn't be more thankful. For example, when we heard that <clears throat> the Zephyr's baseball team was being changed to the baby cakes, he said his famous words, and um, he, uh, he told me that their uniforms would be um, baby blue and uh, hot pink. Now, um, the moment I heard he passed away, a part of me died too. My heart was shattered and I couldn't believe that what was happening. I really couldn't tell you how or what to feel when I heard this, but this is the toughest thing I've ever had to face in my life. The memories are there and will always be remembered. Thank you all for being so supportive and here for my family during this tough time. So with all that being said, Dad, I love and miss you so much. I know you're looking down on me with nothing but a smile on your face. I'll take care of Mom for the best of my ability. I'll be the man you want me to be for as long as I live. I promise that I'll make you proud. I love you so much. Thank you all.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear sisters and brothers, Jesus says, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Lord lives in his holy temple, yet abides in our midst. Since in baptism, Rosario became God's temple and the spirit of God lives in him, we bless his cremains. Let us pray. God of faithfulness, in your wisdom you have called your servant Rosario out of this world. Release him from the bonds of sin and welcome him into your presence so that he may enjoy eternal light and peace and be raised up in glory with all your saints. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Lord, Roy is gone now from this earthly dwelling and has left behind those who mourn his absence. Grant that as we grieve for him, we may hold his memory dear and live in the hope of the eternal kingdom where you will bring us together again. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are those who have died in the Lord. Let them rest from their labors, for their good deeds go before them. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May the soul of royal and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord guards our coming in and our going out. May God be with us today as we make this last journey with our brother. Amen. On the day of baptism, Rosario put on Christ. May he now be clothed with Christ in eternal glory. Amen. In baptism, Rosario received the sign of the cross. May he now share in Christ's victory over death. Amen. Please join us in singing our opening song that may be found in your gather hymnals, song number 608, Be Not Afraid, 608.
let us pray. O God, who have set a limit to this present life so as to open up an entry into eternity, we humbly beseech you that by the grace of your mercy, you may command the name of your servant, Rosario, to be inscribed in the book of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything and a time for every affair under the heavens, a time to give birth and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot the plant, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to be far from embraces, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, present your requests to God in the peace of God, which transcends all understanding. Will guard your hearts with your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard of me or seen in me, but put into practice and the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places, if there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear sisters and brothers, it is with great sadness and broken hearts that we gather here this afternoon to pray for the repose of the soul of Rosario Frank Gutuso Jr., fondly known to all as Roy. We offer our sincere sympathies to Robin, his wife, to his son, Kaysen, to his sisters, Cynthia and Angela, and to his brother, Frank, to his many nieces and nephews, his in-laws, 
his extended family members who loved him as a son, brother, and uncle, as mentioned in the obituary, and to his wide circle of friends. I was fortunate to have known Roy, and as it is said in his obituary, he was a wonderful man with a good heart. He enjoyed life and loved to travel and spend time with his family. He had a great sense of humor and made everyone laugh. The scripture passage from Ecclesiastes, chosen by the family for this funeral mass, speaks about an appointed time for everything. This is a very meaningful phrase, especially for people of faith. It speaks of an openness to journey with God through our lives and to accept all that life has to offer in a spirit of faith. Roy's time to be born was August 11, 1964, here in New Orleans. He grew up here and as we trace the story of Roy's life, we see that at the appointed time, he took various paths, the path to serving his country, which he so proudly did from 1985 to 1988 as a specialist for in the United States Army. At the appointed time, he also took up employment and was a very loyal employee wherever he worked, especially in Home Depot and Lowe's. And many of his colleagues wrote so highly of him in their condolence messages online. His appointed time to marry came when he met his beloved Robin, and they committed their lives to each other in marriage more than 25 years ago. The appointed time for fatherhood also arrived, the time to create a loving and happy home with Robin and Kaysen. But my dear sisters and brothers, the appointed time does not only refer to happy events. And for Roy, there were also difficult moments. This is something we can find hard to accept as humans. As humans, we gladly accept the nice happy parts. But when it speaks of a time to mourn, or even a time to die, we find that hard to accept. But the wisdom that the Lord has, which is far above ours, tells us that it becomes real and acceptable to accept those difficult times. To everything, there is a season. At a time like this, we need to remember that in God's order, there is a time to weep. And it helps us to bear the sorrow we feel when we allow the tears to flow as we face the fact that there is also time to die. Roy was a man of faith. Both Roy, Robin, and Kaysen put their faith into practice 
in the most concrete way, living good lives and witnessing to their God of love. The second reading for today is a beautiful expression of faith, something that I could imagine St. Paul writing to Roy, Robin, and Casey. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. My dear friends, in the midst of the good seasons, times, and activities, there is for all of us, even for someone as young as Roy, a time to be broken down and to die. Roy suffered ill health in recent times. And yet, in the midst of that trial, he turned to his faith for comfort. I had the privilege of giving Roy the blessing of the sacrament of the sick, and his gentle and sure faith in God really touched me. I could say that Roy felt the presence of the God of peace within him, even in his suffering. So for a person of faith, Although the appointed time to die has arrived, it is also the appointed time to pass to the next life, to go to find the room already prepared by Jesus in our Father's house, as we are told in our Gospel passage of today. It is a comfort to us to know that as a man of faith, Roy will have heard Jesus clearly say to him many times during his sickness, do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. And Roy's heart indeed was not troubled. Roy trusted in God and trusted in Jesus. Roy's appointed time to die came on November 10th when I was far away in Nigeria, feeling so helpless as a result of the distance away from Robin and Kaysen and close family and friends. But I was very near you all in spirit. And through Jesus, Roy has come to the Father where he is at home in eternal peace. For us who remain, especially for Robin and Casey and Roy's siblings, seasons and times like these are hard, especially when they come so early and suddenly, so close to the holidays and festivities. And we are left with this, this deep sense of loss and mourning. But let us be reminded that it is in our time to grieve that it is that, let us be reminded that it is our time to grieve and to weep. As our first reading tells us today. And as Jesus assures us in the Beatitudes, 
we shall certainly be comforted. We shall be comforted by the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. And my dear brothers and sisters, be assured of our continued support in prayer for you as you grieve the loss of Roy. This then is the time to draw near to the Lord. The time when we hurt because we miss our loved one. It is at this time that we need to allow the Lord to care for us. Right here in this gathering, as you lift your heart to the Lord, you too can find peace of God coming into your hearts. May the soul of Royal, the souls of his parents, Patricia and Rosario Sr., the soul of his brother Anthony, and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us now rise for the prayer of the faithful. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Roy, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brother Roy, who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God's face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family and friends of Roy, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people, whose lives we have purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated and the gifts can now be brought forward. The offertory psalm may be found in your gather hymnal, song number 686, Here I Am Lord, song number 686. <laughs>
Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Be near, O Lord, we pray to your servant, Roy, on whose funeral they will offer you this sacrifice of conciliation, so that should any stain of sin have clung to him, or any human fault have affected him, it may by your loving gift be forgiven and wiped away. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has done, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. <laughs> Indeed, holy O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly employ you by the same Spirit. Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. The 
therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph as spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Andrew Dunlock, priest and companions, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, Gregory our Bishop, Fernand his auxiliary, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Rosario, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who we are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you are our God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor receive us forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. He is the resurrection and life. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. And I say the word and my soul. Communion song may be found in your gather hymnal, number 611 on Eagle's Wings, number 611. <laughs>
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servant Roy, who has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord.
Before the final blessing, I just want to once again express our sincere condolences to all of you, especially to Robin and Kesin. You are a very important part of St. Christopher Parish family and be assured of our prayerful support for you at this difficult time. And when I said in my homily that you practice your faith actively, you have truly displayed that. And for Kissing to sing, I can only imagine without a script like he did, that is an evidence of actually putting his faith you know, into active practice. Kissing, we are very grateful to you for that beautiful song. And Roy's candle is still burning, you can see. <laughs> Even though we cannot see the flames on this side, but it is still burning, so Roy is still very much with us. <laughs> My dear sisters and brothers, trusting in God, we have prayed together for Roy. And now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Roy again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Roy in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Roy in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of the fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the new and eternal Jerusalem. Amen. And because the committer would be at a later date, 
I now invite you to bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto Roy, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. We shall not listen to the tops before the final blessing. Let us all sing together our closing song, which may be found in your We Celebrate books, song number 882, Just a Closer Walk with Thee, song number 882.